this is uh, Franz Cantor, uh, toon talker, cartoonist and illustrator I'm here with. Jim Bridges and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. Fantastic. We're doing a book bite uh, today and uh, we're going to be uh, talking about this book which is The Art of the Incredibles by Mark Cotter Vares. It's published by um, Chronicle Books and uh, it came out I think in 19, in 2004 I believe 2004 and it was uh, to coincide with Incredibles so if you're a big lover of the Incredibles and um, you know the style of uh, the 1950s and 60s and spy dramas and supers and uh, superhero comics from, the, from that era then you're gonna love this book so immediately you're getting you're getting a splash page that uh, gives you an idea similar to the credits of the Incredibles. You know these sort of uh, um, the idea of the James Bond uh, graphics. So the uh, end titles of the uh, film um, really uh, played up the idea of the uh, spy drama. So they expanded the superhero genre to. Uh, ex like to be a, a, a sort of a homage to James Bond. But in, it's in also particular. A, a family, it's a family unit Yeah, well it's too. a family film even though it's uh, PG. But the, um, the thing that interests me about this is, the, is just the, the extent of the research that the artist did yeah. into the 1950s and into, you know, the um, development of uh, the uh, superheroes, uh, uh, the pantheon of these gods, these superheroes with their special powers were really references to Jack Kirby's, um, you know, uh, pantheon Fan of gods and of Fantastic Four, the creation of the Fantastic Four, and the, and the Bond movies, and the X Men, yeah, and All those uh, spies, and some DC characters. This is Mr. Incredible. So yep, Mr. Incredible is uh, he's unhappy, as you can see. You know, he's sort of retired from the uh, superhero uh, uh, business because it's just too just too litigious. Yeah, that's the, the uh, here premise. he is going for his his midlife uh, crisis. Yeah, um, we haven't got pictures here of how he actually um, tones up to be um, to get back into business. It's very funny, but yeah, yeah. And this is um, Helen, uh, the Elastic Girl. Yeah, uh, of course, the Elastic Girl. Um, Elastic Girl's powers are based on um, Plastic Man and uh, you know Mr. Fantastic. So she's elastic. Yeah. Elastic Girl, good hero. Yeah. And these are just like character. These didn't make it into the final uh, designs of the character, but they that just didn't, informed the animators into s various gags and yeah. uh, you know some ideas. This is a. Uh, I think this is almost the final. Yes, that is. Uh, lineup of uh, characters. Either yeah, character. They, they didn't change much after his hair got a bit longer. Mm. There's his uh, middle-aged spread. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So it's Jack Jack, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Incredible, Mr. Incredible, um, Dash, which is Dash is kind of like the Flash character, Elastic Girl, of course, uh, Helen, uh, Violet is kind of shrinking Violet, but she's really like Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Fantastic, the Invisible Girl. Yes, yes. Um, you've got Frozone, of course, in his civvies here. Frozone is kind of like a um, a uh, Mr. Freeze, not Mr. Freeze, um, the Iceman from the X Men hmm. lineup, or as you said before, um, Mr. Freeze Mr. from the Freeze DC from comics. DC. And this is the uh, the bad guy of the film that kind of replaced the uh, Doctor No sort of bad guy yeah. in the story. And his name this is Syndrome. Is, um, Syndrome. And he's just a fan of, of Mr. Incredible and yeah. he wants to be his sidekick, but mm. he gets knocked back, so um, 15 years later he becomes a um, a squillionaire yep. and um, and he becomes a bad guy yep there's a couple of um, pre-production pieces to, to get into the character of who she was yep and uh, these are probably uh, storyboards yeah and the hair is always covering the face yep there's dash par little so, boy he's um, they're all retired and they they're not allowed to they have to be normal and um, yeah he um, he wants to run Some and run and run. character studies. Yeah, he wants to run and run and run. Help they've the animators they've done run. all this background, yeah, for, the background for the school. Yeah, background for the school. Again, very, um, 
very, very future modern. Yeah, it's set obviously in the 50s, but it's future modern, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's the 50s looking forward to the new, new millennium. Yeah. So flying buttresses and uh, Jetson style. Cars Jetson, and yes. Houses everywhere. Yes. That's Jack Jack. Jack Jack. Yeah. Who is an interesting character. Um, that doesn't actually happen in the film because his uh, actual powers aren't. Um, there aren't. Well, they're developed. They're yeah. not developed. They're a they bit of a mystery. At the end of the film. Yeah, only for a very short time. Yeah. And this is uh, the house. Well, they're very Jetsons. The house, very yeah. Jetsons. A whole stack. So of, a whole lot of reference of uh, and the neighbourhood, which you don't even see. Yeah. Beautiful, um, beautiful designs. Very Jetson. Yeah. Very end. Pebble Dash everywhere. The cars, of course, look like, um, you know, rockets from the, the late 50s. Is that um, Bud Light? <laughs> it could very well be, yeah. Well, Buzz yeah. Lightyear is almost a retro superhero. Yeah. Um, Got to look at those cushions. Yeah. So they reference a lot of the uh, 50s modern. Um, Interior design uh, to inform the film. The kitchen, of course, the dream kitchen. You know, that's the actually 90s, a scene from the film. 1950s, 1940s, even. Where they have a kitchen of tomorrow. Yeah, where they have a fight in the kitchen. Yeah. And look at this coffee. You know. Yeah. It's like a G clamp, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and this is where he works. Sherry care. Yeah, and the design's terrific. <laughs> They're going to take over the world. Yeah. Crush it with their insurance. Yeah. It's, it's like um, this is actually architecture gone crazy. Yeah, but this is he's, that's closest to what's in the film. But these mm. are the that really shows what he's going through. The body through. language and yes. the expressions and yeah. the, the weariness of uh, Bob's uh, day to day office life. Yeah. So he takes up good, half uh, of his cubicle. He's a big guy, yeah. you know. Yeah. So Brad Bird is the director of The Incredibles. He started out uh, obviously uh, um, directing. Um, uh, this cartoon, which was, I think, for Spielberg's um, uh, Amazing Stories, which is Family Dog. So if you get a chance to Google Family Dog um, on, or see it on YouTube, well worth a look. And then he went on to do, to design um, The Iron Giant. You can just have a quick flash of The Iron Giant. The Iron Giant is kind of like a, uh, a another retro um, love fest. So if you like... It's the also an Andy War film for kids. Yeah. 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 So... Um, Anti-violence. Well worth, well worth uh, picking that one up. Yep. And this is about the golden years when the superheroes were um, everywhere before they got banned yep. by the public. Yep. And this is his sort of um, so car the, that turns into from a little tiny car yeah. into something else. And yeah. these are the miscellaneous heroes who were floating around that time. And there's a theme through it about no capes. We don't do capes. Yeah. yeah. This, this guy's actually, and it's a great pun, Bon yeah. Voyage. And that's that's Marcel Marceau. Yeah. Um, it's well, very, even that's Marcel Marceau. Yeah. But, I mean, the tropes that they explore here with superheroes, spies, and yeah. obviously with the mime, you know. These aren't in the film, but like, you know, a little Marcel car Marcel. made out of a... A, a, <laughs> a snail. Yeah. You know, <laughs> escargot. Escargot. And yeah. go for your bombs, mate, you know. Yeah. Um, he, he um, Frozone's a very interesting uh, character. He's, yeah. a, he's a very slick dude. Beautiful, beautiful. Just yeah. beautiful. Everything surrounding him is stylish. Um, because they can't use their superhero powers anymore, they, they struggle with ordinary life. Mm. And they're supposed to go out bowling, but they go out and... Listen to police radio. Yes, and they, they, they turn up and they... They, 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 they the solve things. Yeah, they save the day without being caught. Yeah. Rick so, Dicker, Rick Dicker. So, um, you know, the, Rick Dicker is this sort of like um, humorous, some of the humorous names are bordering on um, Gigantor and, yes. you know, the English anglicised versions of Gigantor where you've yeah. got to think, what's the, the, the hero's name? Is Dick Strong. Yes. That's a beautiful drawing. Beautiful. Look at it. Beautiful. Mm. Shows the essence. Um, so a lot of these are not in the film, they're just there to inform the dialogue on the film, on the uh, story. Yeah, he's reminiscing here and he wants to be so, a... He's going for his midlife crisis. Yeah. And this is the, this is all the past glory, this is the stuff in his room. Yeah, this is actually in the trailer, the first trailer that came out, this, yeah. uh, this uh, shot. So it's this actually really interesting. I, I, I run the film back a few times just to, to look at it. Yeah. This is when danger calls, help is one super away. Mm. And there he is with Frozone. Mm. 
having a. So they went through a lot of love here, a lot of um, yeah. trouble to produce this film, and uh, you can see that a lot in of this, this is book, a lot of this is not actually drawings. yeah a lot of this is not actually most of what you see. No, it's just pre-production yeah. drawings and sketches that they want to get the feeling right, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Now this is Edna. She um, designs Edna the mode. yeah. She designs the clothes for um, the superheroes. Yeah, and this so is she's her house. Still like Bond's M. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no Q. Q. Yes, yes, that's yeah. right. The, the 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 guy that comes up with all the special gadgets. And she she's now a hot shot. Um, Fashion, uh, fashion, but she she hates her job because mm. she used to design for the gods, for the, the superhero, and so, so her, her house, house has all this. Hill, like Olympus. And yes, and it's got yeah, it's got all this very um, godlike stuff. Yeah, Frank yeah, Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, the, the columns out the front of her place. Yeah, um, that's yeah. a funny gag. That's her looking out the window. Yes. And here, yes. here she's got one of the columns is a rubbish yeah. bin, <laughs> pedal bin. So she's kind of based on a Hollywood. Uh, uh, style fashion designer voiced by Brad Bird. Yeah, uh, and I, I think she's the Funniest most character in the film. Yeah, definitely, that's that's basically how she ended up. Yeah, um, and that's like Australia's Jenny Key. Yeah, yeah. And so this and is a with the David Jones houndstooth. Yeah, and this is um, this is a house. Uh, he and um, in it, as I said, it's like Q's um, place where he, uh, he shows all his new. Um, new gadgets gadgets and and her her clothes go on a, on a, a line and they're shot at and they're bombed and they're burnt and they like all a survive belt. yeah it's a very um slick very beautiful um scene this is a, a mood chart yeah this is showing um basically who would use this not the animators the musicians probably musicians yeah and and, and Can we, let's and, talk and maybe about jokes. the musician john barry John Barry is the no, he didn't. Yeah, no, they did. no, they approached him. Oh, but he didn't do it. Okay, well, it's a very John Barry um, soundtrack. Well, we, because he did the Bond stuff, you know. Mm. But um, also, I would think that this is a like when um, when it's not too uh, blue and stuff like that, they'd put in gags. They'd say, "Oh, here's a good place for a gag," mm. something like that. So mm. other people, but it's a mood Just chart to counteract the moods. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the um, emotional highs and lows in the film, and the different looks of each scene. Getting back to Edna, she designed all the all the all the, all the super suits for for, the, for their children because they have two, yeah, they have three children. The family, family. Even the super. baby's got a thing. Yeah, and that's they, why they, it's called the Incredibles and not yeah. Mister Incredible. Yeah, um, and this is her Hall of Fame mm. for the course, past stuff. Yeah, she's called E. Her, yeah. her, Along with the, you know, um, the M's and the Q's. Yeah. A bomb. So they just use a single letter. Yeah. So these are quick sketches of the ideas machine that gunning, they want to go through. Machine gunning. Machine gunning, and they, the ideas were used yeah. in the in the final um, the final production, yeah. the final shots. But they're having coffee while they're watching all this sort of stuff. Yeah. It's very funny. And then they go to the island. Yeah. Showtime. It's the island which is no man is an island. <laughs> <laughs> Little yeah. gag that they, they kept in from the, the original. Yeah, it's there. the Bond idea of uh, of um, Doctor yeah. Nose Island. Look at that for a look at that for a secret base. Yeah. How about that volcano? Go, yeah, entry through the um, and, and a hollow um, a hollow mountain to to let the rocket off in, in between. Yeah. And it's 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 featured. They they got a lot of trouble to, to set this thing up. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, there's a lagoon thing where the boy runs that fast, he actually runs on water. Yeah, so they pack a lot of ideas yeah. into this. Yes, it's very funny. That's the lagoon. And the ideas are great. The ideas are great. And the ideas are funny too. Mm. Well, they're, they're, the they're, they're referencing things that they, they love. Yes. They obviously love, like, you know, James Bond. Yeah. You know, the, the, the sharks with freaking lasers. What? You know, like um, uh, Austin Powers is a yeah. love fest for James Bond. This is again a love fest for uh, yeah. superheroes and uh, and spy films. Um, the boat actually, uh, sorry, the the jet actually looks like a whale shark. Yeah. In in some shots, and it actually goes into the water, mantra like. Yeah. And the of course, perfect entrance to your to your base. Yeah, is is a behind a waterfall. Yeah, the island base. And this is um, the mad scientist character, which they decided to. Get rid of, yeah, and I'm glad they did because it, it made the film 
well, the, the story, it, it made the story better. It, yeah, it sort of circled back on its beginnings. Yes, you didn't you need now it. now have and the they, kid that was annoying Mr. Incredible. Yeah, and he becomes uh, the he bad becomes guy. He becomes the bad guy. Which and he's uh, he's syndrome, syndrome, which a lot of kids have these days, you know. <laughs> yeah. A lot of syndromes for kids. Yeah. Got so his hero worship went into... Um, yeah, and they're trying to work out how mad are they going to make him. and you For know. supers. So it's a good. Um, that's a good character development, obviously. Yes, and he's different. He's not the same old mad scientist sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and it's beautiful. Just beautiful work. Yeah, chairs. Yeah. Everything. There's there's attention there's, to detail your own in the film. Personal. Um, that. That, that's, really that's taking need lava to lamps to extreme. Over a don't couple you of think? Yeah. That, that's taking lava lamps to extreme. Yep. Yeah. And of course, the that's based on um, Thunderball. Yeah. yeah. The and they've even got the cat that um, Blofeld. Blofeld plays with on his lap. But yeah. that's not in the film at all. No. But they do have a, a mysterious woman. and um, Femme Fatale, Mirage. Yeah, the, well, she's um, kind of like a cat, isn't she? The yeah. white cat with her white hair. Well, um, she's the bad slash good girl. Yeah. And that's basically how she ends up in the film. Yeah. And, of course, they've got to do all the room interiors. Yeah. These were never used in the film, but they're, they're wacky. Yeah, they're good. Um, there weren't too many uh, miscellane miscellaneous villains. The yeah. film's tight as a drum. Yep. There's nothing in it that you, you would cut out at all. It's just, and there's not too many robots in it. But this is the main. This is the main robot. Ro robot. Yeah, the Omni Droid, which went yeah. through different iterations to battle the different superpowers. Yes. So they basically went through a list of all the supers, and down to uh, Mr. Incredible. And, and the bad guy's him. trying to wipe out all the superheroes, so he's the only one left. Yeah. And so he's the super superhero, and he's the first one that they come across who's died. Yeah. He's been. Of he's actually been killed, and that's why it was a PG film. Exactly. Yeah. There's yeah. A lot of influence. Yeah. And this is. Death. This is Doctor Noish. You know, it was gone Crab Island. Yeah. And um, they had this tank that shot um, fire. Yeah. Um, so they're basically they've gone through this. But that wasn't the used in the film. Has employed the um, the adage of what if. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if? Yeah. And wouldn't it be great if you know they had this in Doctor No or in Thunderball or wouldn't this be great in the X Men or Fantastic yeah. Four? The waterfall me mechanics are really cool. incredible, and I, I suspect that there's a bit of two thousand and one in that as well. Um, and of course, the, they have. Um, What's they called? The Velosa pads, pods. The Velosa pods who chase. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, very fast. Uh, very cool. There, there it is. Velosa pods. Yeah, yeah. Velosa pod. Um, actually, it's more. Um, the hundred it, mile it's, dash. They call it's it. More, ha, it's more. It's um, more. It's more uh, horizontal than vertical in the film. Yeah. The final film. That's very Star Warish. Yeah. 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 Um, Silver Surfer. Yep. Mr. Frozo. And the um, the Omni Droid, the battles of uh, Silver yeah Silver Surfer and um, you know um, the uh, the Ice Man from X Men. This is uh, um, the only way to kill the Omni Droid. Obviously, is with the Omni Droid. So yes. he rips off the arm to destroy him. Yeah. But the whole idea of the, this massive robot is is very very Kirby. Um, when it came out as a DVD in 2005, it was the highest selling one, selling seven and a half million. Yeah. And these are the final characters, how they actually finally look. Yeah. Big S for Syndrome. Yeah. This guy yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as she's my favourite character, voiced by the... Well, they, the they tried a lot of people and he was... The director was trying to <laughs> show... The directors often do scratch... I think he got Lily Tomlin. He got Lily Tomlin who he thought she'd be perfect. And yeah. Lily, Lily kind she, of, she listened to his direction and she says, hey, you have you to do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so she talked herself out of a job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, animators and directors often do their own um, scratch. Uh, yes. Scratch, um, well, sometimes, I mean, 2001 Space Odyssey turned out that way. He paid a bloke to do the soundtrack and mm -hmm. then his um, temporary um, track became the final the finish. Final. Yeah, it's it's um it's a very beautiful book, and it just shows you all the work that goes in to a film that you never see. Mm. Most of this, like you know, um, as I said before, that this is 
the final characters. Yeah. And a lot of what they do to get the, to get the film right is a lot of work they do. A lot of work. There's a lot of work. This is the pre designs, the, the, the copy you, table. You're going to put that down? Is, um, well, we're not, um, just put it right over the top. Okay. Yeah. We're just, um, you know, these are the official designs. Obviously, this is the book. You know, this is a different book, The Essential Guide of uh, the Incredibles. But here you've got um, all of the official designs. But not to take away from the coffee table book, of course, um, which is uh, absolutely brilliant because this is where the heart and soul of a film is. It was the first film that, that had humans by yeah. Pixar and, and actually everything because um, um, Bird came from 2D um, um, animation yeah. and yeah, he was an outsider, he's the first outsider who's written and directed um, a Pixar film and um, the, the and he brought his own team with him from um, the Iron Giant yeah. so uh, they had to get a lot of um, work done they had to learn how to do 3D the script he had they'd never been able to um, because this, the normal Pixar scripts are written by people who understand 3D animation yeah. so they they it was all these technical break breakthroughs to get flat, uh, skin tones and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Because even in um, even in Toy Story, the worst thing in Toy Story are the people. Yeah, the toys are perfect because it's so hard for the computer to get it done. Well, it's a yeah. decision that they have to make. I mean, I'm I'm not a fan of uh, cookie cutting people um, like a lot of studios. I think some of the uh, DreamWorks uh, productions are yeah. guilty of cookie making quick cookie cut people. But um, these are, as you can see, the lineup here. The 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 concepts are individual. They, you know, they they're derived from the superpowers themselves, and and uh, a lot of the um, the uh, decisions in the design of the characters are, are created for um, you know interest and 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 reality in the story, making the story more solid and more more. Uh, I think a more realistic. Um, more realistic tone. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that um, we'll be looking at this film in a hundred years. Yeah, definitely. It, it, the story's so 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 well executed, and it's mm. as tight as a drum. You wouldn't cut out a minute out of the whole film. No, not at all. No, and just finish on the back page. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you like retro, that's the book to buy. That's the book to buy. Yeah. If you love The Incredibles and you love 50s modern and you love um, superheroes and uh, James Bond and, um, you know, um, this is it. This is the one for you. Okay, this is Jim Bridges. And Franz Cantor. I will catch you next time around. Goodbye. Bye.